What's up, y'all? Tim out my junior here, and this is my own asylum. Like, subscribe, and share the shit out of it. Yeah, do it. Do it now. Yeah. Anyways, uh, today I'm bringing to you something special. Not really, but anyways, um, which this here is rogue pineapple. Party Punch, right? Now, Rogue, you know, they got all their ales and shit, and they don't really... Nothing, I mean, it's it's all unique, but it all kind of, like, blends together and tastes the same. Nothing really stands out from the crowd. I don't go into a store and buy Rogue, period. Uh, they haven't found a market for people like me and possibly people like you. Um, they cater mostly to those that are just buying a brand. Uh, kind of like Fox Racing Gear or uh, whatever those other, you know. It, 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 you know, yeah, there's some quality in it, but it's just the brand. It's just a, a status quo. It's just a, you know jumping on the bandwagon that's what rogue is it's, it's like that it's just like your cookie cutter trendsetter um they got a cool name they got cool um logos cool artwork on all the cans but they don't really bring everybody um to them and their product period so, having said that, let's hope that they have changed the game for people like us who prefer um, diversity in our alcohol. Um, not just this generic brand of ales that seamlessly tastes the same. Let's see if they have succeeded. All right. Dedicated to tropical escapes. That's their tagline up here. Rogue Pineapple Party Punch. Hazy Indian Pale Ale brewed with pineapple and toasted coconut. This is one pint. So, already, this first line, as in with all of your ingredients. Hazy Indian Pale Ale. Okay. Already tells me that it's probably going to taste like a generic pale ale. Okay. So are we going to get something unique, something new, something fresh? Um, that's going to appease my palate. And hopefully your guys' palate. Because I don't think I'm alone. I don't think I'm the only one that finds most beer and most ale and things like that. Uh, just a cookie cutter of product. Right? I can't be the only one that thinks they all taste the same. That's why I buy um, different flavors of alcohol. Um, because I like the uniqueness. And I like when people try to achieve greatness in something. Anyways. This is... 8.4% alcohol by volume. Yes, you heard that right. It's 40 IBU, 15 SRM. I had I found this at Fred Meyer's. And they charged me. Wait. Yeah. What was it? Oh, right here. Sorry. They have this uh, receipt all fucked up and weird. So they charged me fourteen ninety nine plus deposit for a four pack. Okay. Let's get into it. So I'm getting a nutmeg hazelnut scent to it. Like your already holiday 
traditional. Not really tropical scent whatsoever. All right. Get me a knife. Because this shit needs cut down so I can eat it. Super thick, super foamy. Um, almost got a cream type flavor to it. Like a, like a strawberry cream. Doesn't taste like strawberries, obviously. But there's no pineapple nor coconut flavor whatsoever in this product. But it is semi-sweet with that bitter taste of the ale. <clears throat> it might be for some of you guys. Although the product is not for I. So, uh, it's sad. It really is. It's really sad. But, like, uh, you know, that's this is just my own opinion on the product. Well, okay? So, um, I'm going to be a little bit generous because it isn't bad. It's actually really good. And... If I was a connoisseur of ales and I wanted something sweet, this would be that ale. Okay. So I am going to give it an 8.6 out of 10. Okay. Yeah. That's your pineapple party punch. Hazy India ale. Pale ale. So um, try it. Go out and pick some up. Uh, but just be prepared. Let me know if you actually liked it or not. And remember, it's it's super expensive. It's fourteen ninety nine plus deposit in my state, anyways. So it, that's super expensive for four fucking cans. But anyways, I'm Tim Mom Jr. Until next time, subscribe and fuck off.